advocates standing alongside Senator Chuck Schumer calling on the president to forgive more than $1.7 trillion in student debt. I would like to see, at the very least, $50,000 worth of student debt forgiven. The majority leader says 2.5 million New Yorkers are in debt, and one out of every four New Yorkers will benefit from canceling student debt. It affects poorer people, black and brown people, young people more than anybody else. The people who are most affected are the people who need the help the most. And if you say don't do it because I didn't have it, then we shouldn't have had Social Security or Medicare. We always got to improve society. During the COVID pandemic, Catherine Torres says the email stopped, but they just resumed saying payments are due. I have $98,000 in federal student loan debt. But she hasn't paid a dime. With interest piling up, Catherine says she's a debt striker, a group of people appealing to the Biden administration to keep his campaign promise to strike student debt. In the beginning, my mental health took a dive. Uh, there's a lot of guilt and shame that goes along with this. Um, I've had to put off plans of owning a home, of starting a business. Long Island Republican Congressman Andrew Garbarino said he agrees the loan burden is a problem, but the solution is addressing the high cost of school. He said canceling debt wouldn't make financial sense for taxpayers. If the national debt is already so high, canceling another uh, trillion dollars would add more money uh, to our national debt. Inflation's already ridiculously high. This would then free up more money. It just doesn't seem uh, that this is the right time or the right message. The president has said he is for modest debt forgiveness with congressional approval of up to $50,000 for each borrower. Senator That's Schumer says he doesn't need it. The president can do it with the flick of a pen and we have a national campaign to get him to do it. I've met with him three times on this issue alone. We're going to keep fighting till we get it done. And the number of Americans this affects is just jarring. One in four New Yorkers are suffering from student loan debt.